Hello, hello. Welcome to my channel. This is my August the 26th page, and this is going to be a pretty quick video because I don't have much time today. So I went ahead and pre colored the images, but I'm going to show you what I'm going to do, anyways. <laughs> so this page is pretty rough for wear. As you can see, I usually open my books up to make it where it's lays flat, and this is one that I've obviously had open a whole lot, and it's gotten ink and more ink and paint and who knows what else but that doesn't matter we're going to cover that over anyways so to get started i'm going to take london blue and white linen and i'm going to blend them together to make a lighter variation of the blue because this is almost too dark for what i want to do and i'm going to cover over the entire thing with it All right, now that it's all colored over in that, I'm just gonna take white linen and this, and I'm gonna make little like clouds type things all over the top. Okay, so this is where we're at, and now it's time to start putting down some images, or showing you some of the images I want to use at least. First, I want to start with my borders. I have this that I want to go up here, and this one down here. Now, for this, this isn't on my typical border page, but I'll show you how I did it, roughly. All I did was I took a piece of my 80 pound cardstock, and I held it where I had plenty of room to be able to go in and I just traced out this onto the cardstock with my pencil and then I got my journaling block after I traced that yeah let me I'll do it really quick because I can erase it I gave myself plenty of room it didn't have to be perfectly straight I took my pencil traced it out like that and then if you want, you could actually move it up and do it again. Just like so. And then go in, doodle it out, color it up, and then cut it out. That way you know that it's gonna fit perfectly on that kind of a curve. Just like so. Okay. So I've got that to go there, this to go here, and then these are going to be top and bottom. It's kind of hard to hold it on there at the moment, so we'll just do this for the moment. And then I have, actually, these three mushrooms from Toadstool Town. I want one to go on this side, one over here, and a little one down here. Next I have this body from Clockwork. She's going to go between here, almost like she's propping herself up on that mushroom and then her back is on that mushroom so she's going to go somewhere in that vicinity and I also have her head 
but I had must have used the fish because there's usually a fish on the top of it so I must have used it somewhere else because this was one of my scraps so that's the head and then obviously she needed something for her hair or to go on top of her head because it looks a little off so I went into the um, down in the woods stamp set and just stamped this out and colored it up so that's going to be her little headpiece like that and I am totally undecided because I also stamped and colored up these from Holly and the Ivy that I thought about putting up here somewhere because like down at our lake lots we have it lit up like Christmas <laughs> we own like an entire block and it's lit up with outside string lights all the way it's really pretty so I thought about putting that up there okay but there's one more element and I have to I'll show you how I made it that I want to use because this doesn't leave hardly any journaling space at all so let me move these guys over for just a second I have the little butterfly from flight of fancy and the butterfly wing from flight of fancy but it's actually going to be a journaling spot so I'll show you how I made that really really quick because I can use another one in another page let's move this to the side all I did was I took a four and a half by four and a half piece of my 80 pound cardstock and I folded it in half yeah that's better this way okay and then I got me a piece of um, paper towel I put my stamp that I want to use on the stamping block and then I use the Ranger Archival Ranger Archival black soot and I'm gonna ink up my stamp really really good It's nice and shiny everywhere. All right. Now, because it's a lot easier to get a good stamping on a solid surface, I'm going to put that there. And all I did was I made it where this little section here kind of hangs over. So I just eyeballed it. Let's see made sure there was plenty hanging over and I pressed it down see it's going off of the folded piece here give it a good press I might have moved it it might be messed up but that's okay I'm not gonna worry on it too much just like that and as you can see, the little middle part of the wings here was actually stamped onto the paper towel instead. Then I just took it and cut it straight out, both sides, started on the fold here. And then this is what you have. So 
on the inside, all I did was I took my black plastic paint pen and I just outlined the entire thing. <laughs> like that. And then I'm going to leave this one blank, but all I did was I took my journaling block and just made me lines so I can journal in. And this makes it appear like there's a whole lot more space for writing than leaving them blank, to me at least. But, okay. So, move everything out of the way. I am going to go ahead and start getting the images stuck down, and then I will be right back. All right, so this is what I have so far. I decided against putting the Christmas lights up there. I just like it like this. Now, what I've done is on the back side, I've put double-sided tape, because that's essentially what I'm gonna use to stick it down. So, what my plan is, I mean, there's a little bit of writing room there, I guess, but mm, this is gonna make it more unique. I'm gonna have this little guy go here, somewhere in this vicinity. And then I'm just going to go back that and put glue on and stick it straight down like this. But I want to make sure it's not sticking up over the edge of the page. So something along those lines. And I am making it go halfway over so that way he looks like it's just half the butterfly instead of it. If I were to put it here, it would look like he's missing a wing. So I'm going to go ahead and get those two things stuck down and I'll be right back.
Next, I'm going to go in with my black Posca paint pen and outline everything, and I'll be right back. And that is it guys, that is my page for the day. It's simple, basic. I only had a little bit of time so I did go ahead and pre-color everything. But, I mean, I like it, I think it's cutesy. And there's a whole lot of um, images in the background, you only get a little bit of journaling space. This is a good idea because, I mean, y you can write a little bit here, or I can write a little bit here if I want to. But when you open up the butterfly's wing, and you have quite a bit more space, you know. Um, and eventually, as the book stays closed, that will train itself to lay down. Right now it kind of sticks up because the paper the paper doesn't have a memory, so it's been folded, but it's it will eventually train itself to lay down like it should. But I hope in some way that you guys can get some kind of inspiration from this page for your journal pages. If you like the video, please give it a like. I thank you so, so, so very much for watching. And until the next time, I hope you stay safe, stay warm, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.